Race 13 is the Illinois State Fair Colts Stakes Consolation for two-year-old pacing Colts and Geldings. Win, play, show, and exact a wagering. Number one, Doki's Tease, owned by Theopsy Moore and Hosea Williams of Chicago, trained and driven by Hosea Williams. Number two, Barley Corn Express will be coming out to join the field in just a moment, owned by John McGuire and the William Hunter Estate of Alexis, trained by Jose Morales. Sam Widger will drive. Here's the three, Cabanero, owned by John Lamparis of Palos Park and James Lamparis of Naperville, trained by Teresa Ledford with Doug Hamilton driving. Four is D.B. Brody, owned by Charles Lennon and Alan and Jacqueline Bowen of Mount Sterling, Illinois, trained by Alan Bowen with Neil Coleman to drive. Number five is Fox Valley Chris, owned by Don Trilling of Northbrook and Howard Zimmerman of Wilmette, trained by Gary Skurlock. The driver is Andy Miller. Number six, Incredicole, owned by Bob Waxman of Ancaster, Ontario, trained by Brian Pinsky. The driver is Eric Ledford. Number seven is Randolph Duke, owned by Chili Day Stables of Carrollton, trained by Leo Grummel. The driver, Brent Holland. Number eight will be Fox Valley JJ, owned by Lyle and Lance Skurlock of Mantino. Trained by Lyle Skurlock. The driver is Lance Skurlock. Number nine, Sports Bar, owned by Rick Schrock and Robert and Mary McGee. Trained by Rick Schrock. The driver, Dave McGee. And number 10 is Fox Valley Token, owned by Charles Wolf of Harvard. Trained by Wolf Patrick. Wolf will drive. Post time, just five minutes away. The State Fair Concy for two-year-old pacing Colts and Geldings, the final consolation of the day. Up next, we go to the championships. Here they come for race 13. They're off in pacing. Randolph Duke goes out for the lead, and Credit Cole goes right with him. Doki's Tease is off stride toward the inside. Barleycorn Express now moves off the rail. Cabanero goes wide, getting clear of some trouble in the first turn and trying to stay clear of traffic. Back up front, they're being led by Incredi Cole, who makes the top by a length and a half. Randolph Duke is second. Barleycorn Express is third. Cabanero racing in fourth. D.B. Brody goes fifth. Then Fox Valley Chris, Fox Valley J.J. are next, followed by Sports Bar. 28-3 and three for the opening quarter. Doki's Tease, after that break, is moving up from last on the outside, followed by Fox Valley Token who is some 16 lengths off the leader. Heading on to the back stretch, they're being led by Incredit Cole by two lengths. Randolph Duke is second by two and is followed by Barleycorn Express. Gap of two more to Doki's Tease, who is coming three wide after that break. Back up to third, back up to second. Doki's Tease draws alongside of Incredit Cole off a half and 58 and four fifths seconds. And Fox Valley Token is now three wide past the draw gate. Stacking up to the outside of Randolph Duke and D.B. Brody, who's in between horses, followed by Fox Valley Chris, who's also between horses, but one spot further back, six lengths off the lead. Barley Corn Express gets the shuffle toward Fox Valley J.J., and they're followed on the turn by Sports Bar and Cabanero all the way out to last. Past the three-quarter, and Critical leads it. Here comes Randolph Duke. D.B. Brody goes three wide. Randolph Duke is gearing up between horses. Three quarters, 127 and one. Randolph Duke is going to uncork everything he's got. Moving by the eighth pole, and Critical still has him. Randolph Duke needs more. Barley Corn Express may be a factor. He's third toward the rail. Randolph Duke tries to get the lead, and Critical will not go away. And Critical, Randolph Duke at the line. And Critical, what a game performance to win it by a neck. It was Randolph Duke in second. Barley Corn Express third. Into the winner's circle, owned by Bob Waxman of Ancaster, Ontario, trained by Brian Penske, driven by Eric Ledford, number six, Incredical. This two-year-old Cole Muffler Colt, owned by investments manager Bob Waxman, who was a winner here yesterday in the Grand Circuit. Mr. Waxman has raced several nationally prominent horses through the years, and it speaks volumes for the Illinois program when an owner like Bob Waxman decides that he would like to get involved in Illinois as well. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we have not recognized our ring mistress of ceremonies this week, and she's done a tremendous job, originally from Martinsville, Illinois, in the red cap, Allie Tingley. Thank you, Allie.